for your well, your birthday was about what, what, what about a week ago. Yeah. So when I saw that on your my fitness pal, you were going to some show last night. Oh wow! So yeah. What was it? <laughs> um, it was actually a YouTuber. As you know, I'm big into YouTubers. There's a YouTuber that was in town, and his name is Nice Peter. Okay. Well, I don't know if you ever, you do watch, you don't probably watch much of the YouTube stuff. No, I normally if I get on, I get on for like a specific instructional video or something like yeah. that. So. Well, there's there's one he does is rap battles of American history, and he has, or of history, and he takes two historical persons and has them do a rap battle towards each other, and it's kind of funny. Oh, I bet. And, and it's like, oh my gosh. And, um... So we, we went to go see him last night. Well, what was really weird is, um, it's you know, downtown Denver, I'm not too crazy about, you know. But when you go into an establishment and they have to search through all of your belongings and frisk you down before you go into the building, and you kind of wonder if you really should be in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but it turned out to be pretty nice. You know, I was, you know, both of us are sitting back in the corner going, what's going on? And, of course, the average age is 20 in there, <laughs> you know, or in their 20s, yeah. you know, type of thing. But I couldn't find out it was all YouTubers. And even the, uh, they, uh, this band, it was a couple of kids from England were performing. Never heard of them before. And their beats were pretty good. Just couldn't understand much mm -hmm. of what they said. But I bought their CD just to check them out. And, um, and, of course, Peter was out there with his, his friend. And uh, everybody, there were YouTubers, and it's a whole different culture, I guess you'd call it. It's like, uh, like one of them, his name is Marconi, he, uh, he walks into the door, comes over and gives me a hug. We've never laid eyes on each other, never had anything to do with each other, other than contact through the videos and Twitter and stuff like that. And so it's like we just hit it right off, and we were talking and having lots of fun, and 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 even even old guy over here had a lot of fun, you know. It, it was it was a blast, and of course it went on. We didn't get home until well after midnight, and it's about 1:30 before I finally. <laughs> yeah, I so you are pretty tired today. Yeah, I'm sitting there fighting to sleep. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. I want to fall asleep. <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun. And and uh, got to get a few things started. You know, I've been trying to get into more into the YouTube thing, so getting good contacts and stuff like that. Good. But it was just it was just fun to be around my sort of people. Right. You know, and that doesn't happen too often. It's like I always have to behave myself, and there I didn't have to behave myself. <laughs> well, how have you been overall for the last month? I think I've been pretty good. I only had one hiccup, and it really kind of shocked and surprised me. It was around the time where I ran out of EGCG, and I sent you a message, but I never got anything back. But um, let's check it right there. The last, the last one I got from you was in May, or not May, but March. I sent you a couple messages. You did? Yeah. You never got a response. I was wondering. I'm not seeing it in my junk. It's one of my personal. Maybe I'll have to check my stuff and see if I did something wrong. So you ran out, and so... Yeah, I ran out, and, sh and right about that time, I okay. swelled up like a balloon. And I put on 10 pounds in one day. Couldn't go to the bathroom. All kinds of stuff was happening. My leg was so swollen. And twice I had to uh, wrap my leg because okay. it had hurt so much. And um, But then the weight started coming off again. You know, so it was like... Did you take your medication, your blood pressure? And all oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And right. the doctor did drop the, the Lasix. Okay. And um, and it wouldn't be so bad, but I had lost 
I, I had won the uh, the diet bet that I was on. Oh, congratulations. And and I was trying really hard because there was another one like a few days after that. And I was trying so hard not to gain anything. When I, and, of course, the I, I had gained this 10 pounds. And then I get a notice saying, time to, to weigh in. I'm like, they're going to think I cheated. <laughs> you know, I was really upset. I said, I could see a one or two pound gain in that time, but not 10. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know. So I, I kept trying to put it off until I got my weight down a little bit and then would eat it. And so that it only looked like I gained a couple pounds versus that many. So I was just kind of going, <laughs> kind of panicky. And so, and he can tell you, I've been working like insane. You know, I've been doing, making sure all of my steps are in before I do anything. And then at the end of the day, I basically redo the steps again. So I'm doing like 20,000 or better Good. a day. And, um, and that includes on top of my regular workout. So how much weight do you think you've lost over the past month? Um, this, according to this morning, I've lost maybe a couple of pounds. Okay. You know, but I do know at one point I did get down to my goal for you, and then I put on a couple of pounds, and then I was like, I was trying, and then... Well, let's see where you're at. Let's see where you're at today. As long as it's progressing. Yeah. I brought my chart. Good. Oh. Walking's been a bit of a... Because last time I saw you, you just broke the 230 mark. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's right. This one, that one. It'll, yeah, it'll tell you. It's ready. Okay. Two hundred and twenty-eight point six pounds. Oh, about a pound. Yeah, from where your last were. But you were down to where? Uh, according to my scale, I had lost about four pounds since I last saw you. Okay. And then it went back up again a little bit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Radio. Can we figure out what your uh, your med was cut last? Yeah, it doesn't have the uh, EG, CG, and colonics. say taking what's your dosage on your HTC or HCT HTZ there you go HTZ yeah hydrochlorothiazide your blood pressure oh um I don't have that with me um I know he ha he cut it like in half but I, had, I think that might be all well. for a tell-all you're only taking one right yeah. What the tenor law? Yeah. Uh, that says it's needed. Okay, for your end, right? Yeah. Yeah. The only prescription medication besides the pain stuff is the uh, blood pressure. Seven over six five, so it's good. Oh, that's good though. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, you had me on Enflix, and I think you replaced it with the EGCG, is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let me go see what I have. I don't know if I have this. Let me see if I have some of that still. Okay. All right. 
Taking the one every couple of days. was my goal for my scale okay because your scale is a little bit lighter than mine right and like as you can see I hit it how'd you guys get with the storms out in Aurora uh, it wasn't too bad it so wasn't oh, yeah those oh, are my measurements? measurements my measurements for the last month small improvement they use to measure body fat? Uh, I have a scale where you stand on it and okay. it, it tells you that. So I figured I'd put the what, you know, what it was before and what it is now. Okay. In there. I've been logging those in my uh, my fitness pal. Good. Yeah, I saw the, some of the measurements that you're putting in. Mm -hmm. They You have to put it in as notes fields, right? Um, it has a, a like, Record uh, records or something like okay. that, but I can I can mark them down as notes too. If no, you that's fine. I, I just didn't know. I, I didn't, I've seen those in there, but I didn't know if they kept them as a track like track like body measurements or if you had to enter them as no fill. Oh yeah, it well it says like um, like you're going to weigh in, and uh -huh. then and then it gives you an option where you can click on and then you type in whatever word you want in there, mm -hmm. and that's how I did it is just type in the words. Notice that your waist went up. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that, could inter, um, that could be from either well, that's about const the constipation. Yeah. That was about the time when I put on that weight and scared the crap out of myself. Okay. So it's probably some bloating yeah. that you experienced. Okay. But, you know, and then I Having fun sewing like crazy thing yeah. going, making dresses. <laughs> so you guys have any trips planned for the summer then? Not that I know of. <coughs> Not no. really. We're just doing little day trips, you know, and in the Denver area is all. We're doing those for the YouTube thing. That's good. Kind of, you know, little little short adventures. Yeah. Type of thing. So today we're going to go try something different. What are you going to do? It's a new pizza place in town. Live basil. I've heard of it. It's over there off of Hampton and I-25, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I found that when I was driving to my mom's house, and I thought I'd try it out, and because uh, my mom 
kind of picky about pizza. Yeah. And so I tried the uh, gluten-free one and, uh, you know, with veggies and stuff like that. And it seemed very... Okay, the pizzas are about the size of a plate. Right. And um, the gluten free are smaller. It's about the same size, okay. as far as I could tell. And um, you uh, tell them what how what all you want on it. You can watch them as they make it, and so you can say, I want more sauce, less sauce, what kind of sauce, you know that kind of thing, and veggies and meats and all that. Oh, they had they had vegan cheese. But I thought you might allergies. like, yeah, I thought I'd get, let you have that and you can go check them out and see what you think. Yeah, because they're right up the road. Yeah. Right up I twenty five. I've seen them before but over in that area, but I've never stopped in. It's kind of tricky getting in there, but it's... It's, it's kind of like it's right next to Starbucks. I know there's yeah. a... Um, um, there's well, a I was thinking of Mod Market. Mod Market also has pizzas. Mm, yeah. And they're off of Arabaho. Yeah, there's a new one that's on... Um, right off of Hampton and... Okay. University? Yeah, I think it's university. Either Colorado or university-ish area. Hmm. It just got built. So they just make individual pizzas? They make individual pizzas. And I saw on there they had a little uh, thing where you can um, choose two, that black, dark half area. Half pizza, half size. You can have a half size pizza. And That's good. And I was like, ooh, that would work. You know, cause it, you know, and I was thinking, well, the calories is probably about, at worst, about seven, 800 calories for a whole pizza if it was... Depends on which one you get, yeah. yeah. I'm and looking at some of the other ones. Like, I'm looking at the like the, the farmer's market's vegetarian. It's probably low because it's strictly peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, arugula, and basil. Yeah. Um, the olive oil is an optional thing. You can put on yeah. separate, and same thing with the salt. No, I appreciate you bringing that in. Let me give that a shot. I, I thought that might be something that, an option for your patients. And yeah. You know, give you a chance to check it Just out. Just need to see if they've got the calorie information on their website. They don't yet. I tried to find out because they're they working don't? on it. You know, that I asked them, do you have any calorie count on any of your stuff? And they said, not yet. We're working on it. Okay. <laughs> I said, because I know somebody who would probably like to check out your place. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. So let's continue on. I mean, I think try to get those replacements, like uh, I mentioned, like at Vitamin Cottage or Natural Grocers, mm -hmm. um, to, to supplement those. Um, you know, the only thing about this one is they've got that proprietary boy, the tri trifalfa extract. Um, but... I think if you increase the magnesium, especially magnesium citrate, it should have a similar effect mm -hmm. uh, for you as well. So um, this is the only one you're doing it every other day um, okay. from that. This stuff is pretty, you know, common. It's becoming more common. The big thing is just making sure that you're getting the right ratio of the EUCG. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the big, that's the main therapeutic or the ther thermogenic agent that's been shown to increase or spark your metabolism. The problem with taking too much of this, I actually did, did a study on this, as I did, but they did, someone did a study on it, was showing too much, like if you take too much green tea extract, it's been shown to have some form of effect on the liver, mm -hmm. uh, on the liver. So it does offer great antioxidant pr properties, but too much can be a good, I mean, could be a bad thing to the liver as well, because your liver does have to metabolize it. So that's why I want you to be careful a little bit and just make sure that you're not doing any more than, you know, what, what I wrote down on there. Okay. So. Well, I know before you had me get some green tea pills with the EGCG extract yep. before. Yep. And that's okay to take that with this? No, I wouldn't do that. Well, I don't remember the dosage that you got on those. I think it was like 400 milligrams. I'll have to try to that. try to re-email it to me. Okay. Um, and see if I can get at this. Oh, I'm not sure why I didn't get it. I'll have to check my. I want to. I check my junk. I'll have to check the spam. Because okay. um, I've been having some patients' things get put in there for some reason. So. Okay. I'll check that out. Uh, okay. If yeah. Like if, it. if anything, I can. You know, like I've been doing, take a picture of what the bottle is okay. and what the back is. Yeah. Is, and then I, you can look at it and see what's. Absolutely. Doing. So that's good. Um, I'd like to see you back probably after the Fourth of July week. And see how you're progressing. I really want you to see you down around 224. 
Um, I know it's four pounds, but I think it's very doable given that you've been down and you went back up yeah. um, to keep progressing towards that. When is your next uh, visit with your physician? We haven't really made an appointment okay. for anything. Okay, that's good. I've been thinking about seeing him. i got a problem on my back I think I might have to have removed. And it's a mole that's just driving me crazy. And it might be the reason why I keep feeling pinched nerves and stuff like that back there. Okay. So we might have to go in and get that removed. Okay. Um, so you're a month in. You're about a pound down. I mean, it's not where I wanted to see. I was kind of hoping to be around 225, 226. Um, but I think th the important element is I mean, looked over your food logs a little bit. Just be diligent with it as, as, as you are. And then, you know, are you, I mean, are you doing two or are you doing three replacements, like two shakes or one shake and one bar on average? Uh, the bar's been pretty consistent, and I've been trying to do two shakes a day, okay. but sometimes that doesn't happen. Okay. You know, some some it's because time constrictions, right. and then other times it's just um, we had something and I didn't want my calories to go too high type of thing, and I'm trying to really watch the calories. Okay. Because uh, I'm in another diet, but, you know, like I said, I went from one to the other, and this one i got to be 226 on my scale. Okay. And by the time it's done, I got 13 days left. Okay. So I've been, I've been, working, he could tell you I've been working like an insane. Sure. Woman. So let's do this. So how are you on on those things, um, on your like bars and shakes? Probably more. Okay. <laughs> so do you want to get some maybe for a month, or do you want to get some for a few weeks? What would you like to do? Um. So how can you said ask? We're going to be gone another month, right? Yeah, so let's get two canisters of shake. That'll take you right out a month. Okay. Okay, and then you can choose if you want two boxes of bars or if you wanted one box of bars, whatever you want to do. Uh, one box of bars. Okay. Yeah. What flavor of bar? I'm out of the apple cinnamon. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do have a sp I have one spice um, that some people like. It's a it's a different, completely different bar. I'm willing um, like to try it. Um, it's spice. Okay. So it's, I don't want to say spice. It does taste like chili, but it's like cinnamon and clove. Yeah. That kind of spice. That's what I was uh, thinking. And it's very gooey, and it's also, it's there's no, absolutely nothing like the other one. Okay. Um, so it's made with cashew butter and things like that, mm -hmm. so it makes it a little bit more gooey um, than it is actual, you know, like the other one's more solid. Yeah, right. I like the gooey. So the protein's a lot different. Protein comes in the form of cashew and peanut butter, mm -hmm. um, and the and it has some other, you know, um, I think it's got some cold pressed um, like dates and things like that that are already in it as well. So it's very moist and it's very oily uh, because of the cashew butter. So I always tell patients it's not because there's oil in it, <laughs> it's just because of the oil from the butter, yeah. from the cashew butter that they use with it. Um, but it's spice. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can try a box of that and see if you like it. Uh, what flavor of shake would you like? Um, strawberry? I'm probably out of peach. Huh? I may have some peach. I'll check when I get back okay. there. Yeah, let me go check that. Okay. So strawberry and peach? Yeah. Okay, let me check.